Hey everybody, this is Heidi from Hands Occupied with another knitting video tutorial. In this one, we're gonna look at how to make from start to finish this adorable and quick knit baby blanket that has two colors and features easy increasing and decreasing. To make this quick knit blanket, you're going to need to have a set of needles and yarn that is suited to those needles. So make sure to double check the label on your yarn that you're using the right needle size for the yarn in question. If you want to knit this faster, make sure to go with a bigger needle and its corresponding bulkier yarn. To get started, I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and its corresponding size 7 needles, and I'm going to start with an easy casting on of 3 stitches. If you are like me and don't like casting on or binding off, this is definitely the project for you because the cast on and bind off stitch count is just three stitches. So I've got those three stitches cast on, and now I'm going to slip the first stitch and knit across the row like so. And for row two, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So turning our work, we will slip the first stitch with the yarn towards us and with yarn in back, knit across the rest of that row. Easy enough. And now row three is where things get slightly more exciting. We're going to start with the same slipping of the first stitch with the yarn in front, and then we're gonna yarn over, knit one, yarn over, and knit the last stitch. So what this has done with those two yarn overs is increase our stitch count by two stitches, so five, and as we work across the increase section of this quick knit baby blanket, that addition of the two extra stitches every third row results in almost just a little bit tighter than a 90 degree angle, which gives the blanket its diamond or rhombus shape and makes it really easy to work. So let's show you that one more time. So for rows four and five, it's the same slip one knit across, so slip the first stitch and knit all the rest of the stitches in that row. And now we'll turn our work and do the same thing. We will slip the first stitch and knit across. And looking at the other side, we're now back to an increase row, because every third row we increase. We slip one, yarn over, and we'll knit until the last stitch of the row. So that's, in this case, knitting three. And now we're at the last stitch, but before we knit that, we're tossing in a yarn over and knitting one. So as you work this pattern, you'll get really used to the routine repeat of increasing every third row all the way to the widest part of the blanket before we get to the decrease. So let's pretend we are at the widest part of the blanket. In this case, it's just seven stitches, so it's more of a swatch, but this is just for demonstration's sake to give you an idea of how this works. So right now, I'm going to slip one and knit across twice, so two rows of that, because we have to remember our three row repeat for this guy. So there's one row, turning our work, We'll slip one and knit across the second one. All right, now for decreasing. The pattern calls for changing your color, but conveniently for us, my variegated yarn is about to do that work for us. Um, you can switch, with this pattern it's really nice because you can switch colors whenever you want. It's a great scrap busting blanket. Um, or you can use a variegated yarn, or do like I did in the bigger blanket you saw at the top of this video and just change colors halfway through. So for the decrease row, we'll slip one, and then we're gonna do a left-leaning decrease, also known as a slip slip knit. So we'll slip one knitwise, slip one purlwise, and knit the two stitches together as one. So now those two stitches have been decreased to one stitch. And now we're gonna knit until the last three stitches, which in this case is just knitting one. If you're working on a wider row, you'll work a whole bunch of other plain knit stitches before you get to the last three. And now we'll end our row with a knit two together, knit one. 
and there are five stitches left on our needle. And you'll see now that we've got a bit of a square shape forming in our work. Next, we'll do our two rows of slip one knit across. There's the first one. Turning our work, we will slip one knit across once again. And now, with five stitches remaining, we'll do our last decrease. So we'll slip the first stitch, and now we will slip, slip, knit, but there's only two stitches left on our other needle, so instead of working till three stitches are left, we'll work these last two together with a knit two together for our last decrease. And now we'll do our two rows that we'll be really used to by this point in the blanket. Slip one knit across. And on this one, I'm going to bind off on the second one. So we'll slip one, knit one, binding it off, knit one, and then bind that one off too. So in this little swatch of a blanket, you can see that we've got our diamond shape where we've increased and then decreased. See, wasn't that super easy? Let's take a quick closer look at what we just demonstrated. So this is the full size version of the blanket. This is done with Bernat bulky yarn. This also happens to be uh, fully machine washable and dryable, um, which makes it great for baby projects. So here in the teal half of the blanket, we cast on the three stitches and every third row increased one stitch along each side until we got to the widest part of our blanket, which is right here where I changed to the orange color. And then we worked another three row repeat with decreases along each side until we get to the far end where we did an easy three stitch bind off. So this super cute and cuddly and quick blanket makes a great shower gift. If you have other ideas for where this pattern would be at home, let us know in the comments or leave any questions you might have there too. And don't forget to tune in soon for more free patterns and tutorials. Mm -hmm.